um, I've got another tag for you guys today and it's the My Makeup Story tag. Um, so I'm just going to dive straight into it rather than babbling like I do in most videos. Um, question 1. How old were you when you started wearing makeup? Um, I think when I was at school, like at 16, 17, I probably wore a bit of eyeliner and then I stopped and um, didn't really wear any for my first year of uni and then I had like a really bad um, confidence hit um, and in my second year I had a few friends that rallied around me and um, they were trying to bring my confidence back um, so they used to doll me up and take me out and I think that really helped a lot and then sort of like um, I started so makeup really kind of started to get my confidence back but I don't think I really started getting interested in it until I was like 21 um, 20, 21 yeah um, so I'm kind of late to the whole makeup thing but I do love it it just it's just it's just a great outlet for like I get bored and just do my makeup, take it off, do it again. I just like to experiment with it, so yeah. I think definitely the last two years of uni were when I really started to think about makeup in a different way. Um question number two was how did you get into makeup? I sort of just covered that a bit, but um, yeah, my friends used to doll me up when I had a lack of confidence due to a bad relationship and bad relationship breakup. Um, it hit me hard, and so my friends wanted to draw me out, get me back out and doing stuff. So we'd go down to the uni bar, and it'd be like, oh, let's let's do our makeup, get dressed, and go down, and just you know. I think it was kind of like a bit of a mask. Like, I could doll myself up and pretend I was this really confident, pretty girl in all this makeup when inside I wasn't that confident. So, but then the confidence did sort of come a bit, and so it did really help me actually. Um, so, yeah, I got into it, and to get into it lately, the thing that I did was brought a load of elf stuff. Um, because it was so cheap and I could just experiment with it it made me really get into the different aspects of makeup and what you could achieve with it like contouring and um, really learning about like the colourings in your own face and what different colour eyeshadows did for your eyes and so yeah my first elf box really got me interested in makeup a lot because I could experiment but at a very cheap price. Um, what are some of your favourite brands? Um, I love Benefit makeup. There's not often I get it because it's kind of expensive. Um, Avon's another good one. I love um, Elf is a pretty good one. I mean, obviously, it's what really drove me to buy more makeup. Um, but I like different bits from different brands. I wouldn't say I have a favourite brand. Um, I just like certain things that that brand does. Um, what does makeup mean to you? Um, sorry, I'm playing with my lipstick. I should put that down. <laughs> um, makeup means to me... Um, it's just... I don't know, that's kind of a difficult one to explain. It's not like mega important to me, like I can go without it. And I I don't wear makeup every day. Probably three, four days a week. Um or maybe even only when I'm at work. Like it's only out of it on for like four to eight hours a day. Um but uh, let's think. 
it means to me just giving you that little bit of a pick me up like if I'm feeling a bit under the weather and dull and blah like I could just pop on some makeup and now that I've got some kind of illuminator that will give me that nice glow or I can stick on a really nice mascara that really opens up my eyes um, so it's just about that little bit of a pick me up when you're feeling down really um, question number five is if you could only wear four products on your face what would they be? I can't go without mascara so that's number one um, I'd then probably do because I'm really into my eyebrows at the moment I'd probably powder and then set my eyebrows with a clear gloss so that's three um, and then I'd prime my eyes with my elf primer because my eyes are quite, my eyelids are quite veiny and you can see like red bits and blue bits from the veins and all sorts of weird and funky colours in there but the primer just sort of covers that and masks it and looks amazing at the same time so yeah those four things all to do with my eyes really um because I'm quite confident going out without foundation or concealer and that so so yeah those are the four things I would wear if I could only wear four things um number six is what is your favourite thing about makeup um my favourite thing is definitely uh, how you can just change things like I can give myself really hollow cheekbones if I wanted to or I can really um, make my eyes look bigger and wider or I could like so I didn't like my dark eyebrows, I do, I love them, um, I could like completely cover them and do a light eyebrow or you know I just like how you could you can use makeup to better what you have just accentuate it or you can use it to do something completely different like you can like angle and contour and highlight in certain ways and it would give you a look of someone else um, so I do like that makeup lets you do versatile things and you can just experiment to no end with makeup which is something I love to do um, number seven what do you think about drugstore versus high end makeup um, I love my drugstore or high street is what I would call it um, just got an email off wire power um, I like high end but it's kind of expensive which you know buyer power is like a great way to like get those expensive brands but cheaper I'm going to start playing with my, my lipstick again so I'm going to put that down um, I do like high end like I've got some benefit and I've got some MAC but um, sometimes I think you're paying for the name of something rather than the actual product like my MAC fluid line gel liner is no better then my Maybelline one and you, there's like £20 for one, seven or something for another and it's like mm, like I can't justify spending £20 on that anymore when I know my Maybelline one is just as good um, same for mascara I love bad girl lashes from Benefit but then my 17 one is just as good and so like there's certain things that like I don't think you can compare but then like for high end for foundation I think some of them have a brilliant colour choice and if you if you wear foundation every day it probably is worth spending a bit more money on it but that's completely up to you um, I don't think I have anything higher end than MAC or Benefit so I can't talk about like Illamasqua or Chanel or anything like that because I could never ever ever buy those things myself <laughs> because I just 
I don't think I could just justify spending that much money when you can get something just as good in your high street um, or drugstore. Um, number eight is what is one tip of advice you would give to a beginner? Um, I would say start basic um, and practice. Don't go for like, um, don't try and do a very heavy foundation, heavy blusher, heavy bronzer, heavy eye makeup until you're used to doing the basic stuff like doing a light coverage face and a neutral eye and just once you're good and happy with how your results turn out doing the basic stuff then progress don't just dive into the deep end um, and definitely definitely practice because that's something that I still do now I still sit in front of a mirror put some makeup on take it off wait a bit put some more on take it off like I'm forever just experimenting with makeup in my bedroom which sounds sad but I just love doing it. Um, question nine is, what is one makeup trend you never understood? Um, I think it's self, I never understand self tanning. I don't get it. It just looks wrong. Um, I never understand people that buy a darker foundation than their actual skin color. I never understand I've seen people that like put blush on and they put so much product on their brush and then just go meh so you've got like a really great big line there and I don't get it if you're not going to blend it in and make it look natural I don't know what's just happened to my phone it's just beeped at me I hope it's still filming um yeah if you're not going to blend it in and make it look natural don't do it. I don't get that great big line like wall paint in. Just like you've gone like that and thought, oh yeah, that looks fantastic. Um, I don't get that. And um, question number ten is, what do you think about the beauty community on YouTube? I think the beauty community here on YouTube is fantastic, and on other platforms as well. Like on your blogging platforms, it's amazing. On bloggers on Twitter, amazing. On YouTube amazing if you're anywhere else it's amazing um i've not i've seen the hate like but i've not experienced it for me myself um so yeah but so far my my experience of the beauty community is just amazing like i don't have that many friends um i have a few but not many and on YouTube I just get to talk to everyone every day and um, you know we get nice chats and there's a few people that I really do like and I wish that I could meet um, and it has brought me to some amazing people so I do love the beauty community on YouTube um, that's the last question um, if you do these tags do a video response because I'd love to see them and I will see you all soon bye guys